Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Laura Trump Wanted for Questioning. I hope we got some good questions. I hope there are some mean questions today because those were kind of my favorite. Let me see, let's check it out. Okay, first question. When are the Bidens going to be held accountable for their crimes against the USA? Well, that is the big question. Um, I might venture to say that it would start on January 20th, 2025. That'll be the day that Donald Trump is inaugurated for a second time as president of the United States. And I think that's the problem here. I think the re one of the reasons that there is so much against him, that these people on the left have become so hysterical and in some ways almost blinded by their pursuit to stop Donald Trump, um, they don't even realize how obvious it has become to everybody in this country. Um, look, they're doing it because they themselves, all of them, have been playing this same game. How do you think these people have multi-million dollar homes, multiple multi-million dollar homes all across the country who are making the salary of a congressperson or a senator for most of their lives? It is impossible. So you tell me where they got all of their money. Um, that'd be my guess as to when Joe Biden and Hunter Biden start to be held accountable. I got a few more I can throw on that pile for them that we should probably look into. Um, but I think they know it. They know that when Donald Trump is reelected, the gloves are off, that he's not playing patty cake with these people anymore, that it is real and it's going to come in hard and fast. If you've ever heard him in an interview, I'm going to say it's from the 90s. Um, he's being interviewed about a book he wrote. And in that book, he says that getting even is one of the greatest things you can ever do. And he got a lot of criticism for that. I bet you a lot of these folks on the left have seen that interview. Maybe they even re read his book before they decided they hated him because he ran as a Republican. And I think they know that that hammer is coming down and it's coming down hard. So I'm ready for that. Next question. Oh. What food do you absolutely hate? I like a lot of food. I'll tell you what I, okay, I got one I absolutely hate and it's licorice. It is like the licorice candy stuff. I have been tricked several times in my life thinking that I'm eating what I would assume is like some sort of a cherry flavor, like a Twizzler type of thing. And then you bite into it and it's licorice. And let me tell you something, visceral reaction, immediate reaction, absolutely disgusting. Here is the crazy thing. There was a tea that I had when Eric and I were over in Norway for a little while this summer. Great time, great place, shout out to Norway. And this tea was delicious. And I was like, God, I couldn't get enough of this tea. I'm drinking it all day long, can't get enough. And I finally was like, what is this tea that you've been giving me? Turns out it's licorice and peppermint tea, and it is amazing. So I don't know what goes on when you combine those two things, peppermint and licorice, but uh, for whatever reason, I like this tea. But do not, please do not give me any licorice. Uh, it's it's really not, not for me at all. I'm trying to think of anything else that I really don't like. Mm, you put a little like too much garlic on something, might get hit me like, you know, in, in a bad spot. I just can't can't take all that. Otherwise, pretty, pretty open to all the foods. So let me know what y'all are eating. Okay. Next question. Would President Trump go across party lines in choosing a VP? For example, Bobby Kennedy, I guess we're talking about RFK Jr. Why not? Donald Trump doesn't care about the rules. He doesn't care about the way it's always been done. You want evidence of that? Take a look at the debate. When have you ever seen the leading candidate for you know, either side of the aisle decide, eh, I'm not gonna go to the primary debate. I'm gonna instead do an interview that got a quarter of a billion views, probably more than that now. Um, so he doesn't really care about rules. He'll do what he thinks is best for this country. Unlike the Democrats who pander identity politics, they're already starting with all that, the pandering stuff. It is so obvious, it's so ridiculous. I'm embarrassed for them. Um, he wants to choose people who he believes are the best for that position. And so, look, I, I don't know enough about this guy to say one way or the other, 
but I've heard crazier things thrown out there. I mean, here's a crazy one. Chris Christie thought he might have a shot at VP. Ha! Ah, bless his heart. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I would never say never to anything when it comes to Donald J. Trump. And I think you guys know that. Let's see what happens. Okay. Next question. Would you consider competing at a high altitude triathlon? Well, see, now this seems very unfair because I live at sea level, like literally at sea level. Um, and I, I know when I've gone up in the mountains, really get you, take some time to acclimate to that. And that's why I try to work out whenever I am up at altitude, because in my mind, not only am I getting a better workout in that moment, but then when I come back home, I'm like, God, I could just go out on a run and just kill it because my body's at like another level. That is training that, that some really elite athletes do. They train at altitude and they come back to sea level. It's why when I was in high school, we used to, I mean, I grew up at sea level as well, our high school, um, Laney High School, also home of Michael J. Jordan. You may have heard of him. Um, our high school used to, you know, make it to the state competition for cross country. And then we'd always get beaten out by the teams that lived in the mountains. Avi, I mean, that makes sense. But yeah, I'd consider it. I consider doing anything. I love that. Give me a challenge. Give me some athletic event I can train for. And I'm all about it. Absolutely. Next question. Hi, Laura. How is your family able to handle everything happening surrounding President Trump? Well, first of all, whenever you know the truth, you know, just like the Russia collusion nonsense from the very beginning, we all kind of looked at each other and we were like, Russia collusion? Really? Did we collude with Russia and none of us knew? We knew that was a lie from the beginning. That, it's the same thing now. We know he's done nothing wrong. And so when you have truth on your side, that is very helpful. I think you, we can also feel the support from people all across the country. And I think it has only grown. I think with that mugshot, they really did themselves wrong on the left. They thought that that thing was gonna destroy Donald Trump. That was gonna take him down. That was gonna embarrass him. Au contraire, mon frere. No, no, just the opposite. People who I don't even think liked Donald Trump saw that mugshot and it was almost the, the physical symbol for them of everything that has gone wrong in this country over the past several years. It was, it was the line for a lot of people. They're like, yeah, we complied with COVID even though we thought it was stupid. Yeah, we looked the other way when the Democrats cheated in the 2020 election uh, in many ways, but uh, let me say this so we don't get kicked off of YouTube or something, a la the Hunter Biden laptop. Um, but this one maybe is a bridge too far. This one, maybe feels like they have really crossed over into third world authoritarian banana republic territory. And I think people have had it and they really saw themselves in many ways in that mugshot of Donald Trump. And P.S. the greatest mugshot I have ever seen. Greatest mugshot in history. I'm just gonna say it right there. Um, and so look, we have faith. We have faith in God. We have faith that the truth will come out and that the right thing will ultimately happen. So that's how we have to exist. Um, I don't really know any other way to be. And I'll tell you what, every time I talk to my father-in-law, he's joking and in a good mood and he seems he seems calm as a cucumber. So, you know, I'm, uh, I'm just gonna follow his lead. And just like with you're on an airplane, so flight attendants aren't panicking, you probably shouldn't panic either. And I'll tell you, Donald Trump is not panicking. Next question. Oh, sock, sock, shoe, shoe, or sock, shoe, sock, shoe. Who is doing sock, shoe, sock, shoe? What sort of a lunatic are you? Really? You have a bare foot and you're putting one with a sock in a, a shoe already? Absolutely not. I also have a big problem with walking around. Um, any, my floors have to be like crazy clean clean. I mean, I, like you could eat off of them clean. Uh, don't get me started on how often I'm out with my Dyson vacuuming. It is out of control. I've almost broken that thing at this point. So the idea that I'm just going to be walking around with one bare foot before I put on the other sock and entire shoe. Who are you kidding? Absolutely not. I mean, that's just crazy people stuff. Okay. Final question. Are you are your kids gravitating to a specific sport yet? I sort of wish they were because let me tell you something. 
our after school schedule is full blown chaos. We got everything going on right now. I mean, I kind of love it because at the end of the day, my kids are like asking me, is it time for bed? That's a win. Let me tell you something. Every parent understands this out there. If your kid is like, I'm kind of tired and ready for bed. Biggest win of your life like the lottery. I mean, I'll take it all day, every day, every single time. Um, so we're doing a lot. We're doing soccer, tennis, golf, jujitsu. My daughter's in dance as well. I mean, we've got a full, full card right now. And I sort of love it. My son, apparently my son told his PE teacher the other day that he plays basketball. He didn't play basketball, but now I guess we got to start playing basketball. So sign us up for another one. Um, I think all sports have such positive benefits for kids. It's always going to be a yes for me. You want to play some sport? The answer is yes. I'm, I'm into it. Maybe not like, I don't know, jousting or something that seems a little dangerous, but, um, haven't heard about a lot of jousting events lately. So, um, yeah, they're not gravitating towards one yet, but I'll report back. I feel like it'll be a couple of years. So we'll let you know when we're going to any sort of a professional setting, anything major coming along. All right, that'll do it for us here at Lara Trump. Wanted for questioning. Very good questions. No mean questions today. I know some of you haters are out there. I know y'all got something to ask me or something to say to me. Go ahead. You can say it. I don't care. I'll read it and I'll respond to it. So you can tell me anything you need. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, share, and follow. You can comment under this episode or on any of our social media platforms with your question. And until next time, we'll see you back here for more of Laura Trump, Wanted for Questioning. So I'm like a lot of people. I love to wear an Apple Watch, but I hate how it looks. And I scoured the internet to search for the best looking Apple Watch cases I could find, and I found it goldandcherry.com. They have absolutely beautiful watches, as you can see here. Everything is waterproof. Everything looks good with different outfits. You can get sporty, you can get fancy, but they are great quality, uh, made out of Delaware in the United States of America. And they have been kind enough to give me a promo code that I can share with you if you wanna get your hands on one of these as well. It's Lara. T L A R A T is the promo code to get yourself a discount at goldandcherry.com. And not only do they make Apple Watch cases, they also make great products for iPads and iPhones, keyboards, your desktop, everything you could possibly need. Goldandcherry.com. Use promo code Lara T so you can get yourself one of these today, too. At The Right View, uh, we're very proud of the fact that we are independent. We get to say everything that we think and everything that we feel. We have no woke companies guiding us or telling us what we can and cannot say. We are always gonna shoot you straight and give you the facts as we know them. And that's why it's important to support independent uh, outlets like The Right View. My name is Lara Trump and I think Mike Lindell is a patriot. He is someone who loves this country, is willing to fight for this country. Um, I love my pillow because not only are my pillows made in the USA by American workers, uh, but they're great products and they're so great that not only do I use them in my own bed at night, my children actually requested my daughter the other day went to the closet and pulled out a my pillow and said this is the pillow that i want to sleep with and i gotta tell you she loves it and will have nothing to do with any other pillow so it's a big hit around our house my dogs also uh happen to sleep on my pillow dog beds so all around the trump household we're big fans if you go to mypillow.com today and use promo code trump again promo code trump you will not only save money, but you will help us continue this show and other shows like it and help us continue the fight for the future of America. Inflation has impacted all of our lives. I don't think anyone can go to the gas pump or the grocery store without noticing that it is a major factor. And unfortunately, it's not going anywhere. It doesn't seem like it's going down in the way that we would like it to. And one way to protect your money is by investing in precious metals, uh, gold and silver. That's always been a great way to make sure that you keep your money and you keep it safe. When you go to bh-pm.com, use promo code TRUMP. 
That way, if you decide you want to invest in gold and silver, you'll save yourself a little bit of money. We live in a time that's very interesting. A lot of us out there feel like a lot of our rights are slipping away. And if you're like I am and you want to have the right to choose whether or not to have a vaccine, how to live your life freely, and you're looking for a great doctor, I've heard amazing things about Dr. Sherwood. He's somebody who you should really check out and check into, um, and it'll help support this program and keep us going. So go to Sherwood.tv and use promo code Trump. Again, Sherwood.tv and use promo code Trump. You can save yourself some money and help us keep our program going.